The federal government has released new COVID-19 guidelines saying those residents can now have short visits with loved ones and that includes hugs. And the big reason for the change is the huge effort to get residents and staff at those facilities vaccinated. It comes after a year of isolation, which experts say took a huge toll on the mental and physical health of those residents. Here's New Center Maine's Vivian Lee. Since the pandemic lockdowns last March, Sarah Jokum and her three children have traveled to Maine nearly every weekend from Cape Cod to see her 91-year-old father, Dick Dow. Happy birthday. Dow, who lives at Pinnacle Health and Rehab, has dementia. Sarah says it's heartbreaking to watch her father steadily decline, separated by a glass window. He doesn't really speak much anymore. Um, you know, he's just more flat. Sarah spent months lobbying for in-person visits as long-term care residents have borne the brunt of separation from loved ones during the pandemic. She also wrote elected officials and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which oversees the majority of nursing homes in this country. This week, regulators announced that in-person visits could resume again with hugs allowed with vaccinated residents. Masks and hand hygiene will be required before and after visits. I'm sorry. Um... It's just really amazing news because we've been fighting for this for so long. But at least we can sit next to him and actually give him a hug. Jeff Ketchum, the administrator for Pinnacle Health and Rehab, tells us in a statement, CMS guidance allowing physical contact between the resident and family members is a welcome relief. Family members have the option of scheduling outdoor visits, indoor visits, window door visits, Zoom, and when necessary, compassionate visits. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dick. Sarah and her family plan to visit her dad in person on Saturday, and she's also participating in a candlelight vigil open to the public, marking the anniversary of the lockdowns of long-term care facilities, as well as honoring those who died in nursing homes from the virus. Bye. Love you. Leaving this family so grateful to have that physical contact again. We're just so fearful that that was going to become the new normal. Um, and now here we are, and... Hopefully those are those are gone and he'll be able to see us and not wonder why we're outside freezing. As guidelines finally move back in a pre-COVID-19 direction. In South Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.